Hello students, in this uh, video we will uh, start the vector conversion uh, between Cartesian and cylindrical coordinate system. Let me start this video. Uh, this is the cross section of uh, the cylinder which is a circle and the point P is here and uh, the distance of the point from the origin is rho and uh, angle from the x-axis is phi. Now x can be written as rho cos phi. This is the relationship between x rho and phi and phi can be written as rho sine phi uh, because uh, this angle uh, this angle is here 90 minus phi. If uh, this OP is making angle phi with the x axis, then it will make angle 90 minus phi with the y axis. And uh, z is equal to z because we know that uh, z coordinate is same in both the coordinate system. Now, if we aspire and add x square plus y square, then it will be rho square cos square phi plus rho square sin square phi. And we can take rho square common, so cos square phi plus sin square phi, it is 1. So, uh, one important relationship uh, with us, which is x square plus y square is equal to rho square. So, rho can be written as under root of x square plus y square. As we know that x is equal to rho cos phi and y is equal to rho sin phi when we divide y with x. then uh, this comes as a tan phi and from here phi is equal to tan inverse of y by x. Let us say uh, 1, 2, 3 this, this is the point in the Cartesian coordinate system and we want to convert into the cylindrical coordinate system. Then we can calculate the value of rho. Rho is under root of x square plus y square. Uh, this is x, this is uh, y and this is z. It means x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 3. So we will put here it is under root of 1 square plus 2 square means it means under root of 5 and it is equal to 2.24. Phi is equal to 10 inverse of y by x. It means 10 inverse of 2 and uh, this will come as 63.43 degree and the value of z is equal to 3 here. Now, uh, to convert the vector, uh, we should know the dot products ax dot a rho, ax dot a phi, ax dot a z, ax dot a phi, ax dot a, uh, a y dot a phi, a z dot a phi, uh, and uh, three other dot products like ax dot a z, a y dot a z, and a z dot a z. So, to calculate the dot products, uh, uh, we are again coming to this figure as uh, this is the x axis, and in the x axis direction, uh, this vector is ax. And this is the direction of rho. If this is the point P, then this is the direction of A rho. And between AX and A rho, angle is phi. So AX dot A rho, A AX and A rho, both are the unit vector. So it is mod AX, mod A rho, and cosine of the angle phi between these two. So mod of AX is 1, and mod of A rho is 1. So 1 into 1 into cos phi. So AX dot A rho, uh, answer is cos phi. Now, now we calculate a y dot a rho. So the direction of a y, direction of a y, is uh, uh, is along the y direction. So a y, a y dot a rho. It is equal to mod a y, mod a rho, cos ninety minus phi. And mod a y is equal to one, and mod a rho is equal to one. So this is cos 90 minus phi and uh, this comes as sin phi. So there are two important results uh, which we obtained here. Ax dot a phi it is equal to cos phi and a y dot a x dot a rho is cos phi and a y dot a rho is sin phi. So we obtained the result a y dot a rho is equal to sin phi. Now a z dot a rho will be equal to 0 because a z and a rho both are perpendicular to each other. 
and uh, for the normal uh, normal vectors dot product is always zero so az dot arrow is zero now students uh, we have to calculate ax dot fi right now the direction of ax is along the x axis as shown in the figure and uh, the direction of arrow is along the joining o with p and uh, what is the direction of a phi so the direction of a phi is the tangential direction a phi now uh, the angle between a rho and uh, a phi is uh, 90 degree to simplify i am drawing the vector ax here now ax dot a phi and uh, this angle is phi so the total angle so the total angle with ax dot a phi it is 90 plus phi so ax dot a phi it is mod ax mod a phi cos of 90 plus phi mod ax is 1 mod a phi is 1 and cos 90 plus phi is minus of sin phi so ax dot a phi it is 1 into 1 into minus of sin phi. So this answer is uh, minus of sin phi. Now uh, we want to calculate ay dot a phi. It is equal to mod ay mod a phi and uh, cosine of angle between these two vectors. Now let me discuss about the angle. This angle is phi, and uh, this angle is phi, and a rho and a phi, a rho and a phi. This angle is 90 degree. Now, this total angle, this total angle between ax and a phi, it is 90 plus phi, and the angle between x and y, it is uh, 90 degree. So, what is this angle then? This angle is 90 plus phi minus 90 degree. This so this angle is phi. So I will write here phi mod a y is 1 because it is a unit vector mod a phi is 1. So this answer is equal to cos of phi. And what will be the value of a z dot a phi? So a z dot a phi is 0 because these two vectors are perpendicular to each other. So this is the table. Uh, ax dot arrow it is cos phi, ay dot arrow it is sin phi, az dot arrow it is 0, ax dot a phi it is minus of sin phi, ay dot a phi it is cos phi and az dot a phi it is 0. ax dot az is 0, ay dot az is 0 and az dot az is 1. So uh, we have to remember uh, this table. So thank you students.